My name is Joseph Carbonara, practicing 27 years. I'm six Don Renchi, Okinawan Shorinru, Matsubashiru. Um, my training originated out on Long Island uh, many years ago with uh, Ushiro, Ansai Ushiro. Then I gravitated towards uh, Shotoku Omini, who was sent to America to uh, assemble all the dojos together and unify kata and to bring, together, bring about a more peaceful approach to karate. For uh, early on, we did much, 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 much more sparring. And schools were known just as sparring and not for techniques, uh, kobujitsu extension of one's body with, one, uh, with a weapon. Uh, zazen meditation, and I uh, belong also to the Okinawan Humble Original School. These are the uh, exercises or stretching th uh, procedures necessary to loosen one's body up. And then we also do some speed techniques with partners. We leave a kumite to maybe several times a month. We don't do the freestyle kumite. We don't, we don't do every class or every other class. We may do two to three times in, uh, in, in succession of classes or uh, leave it out for a month. It's not necessary. The students attending this dojo realize that the kumite is necessary but not needed so often. And the perfection of, of kata and technique is much more important. For one's personal life, there are uh, some uh, students uh, in their 30s, some 40s, some 50s. Uh, we don't need to boast our egos to prove that we can uh, spar. Oh, the uh, first move is, is always defensive move. We never attack um, because karate should be used for self-defense. So the first move is when I turn and somebody was trying to punch me, so I block the move. After that, I'm free to uh, attack. So what I did is... Um, I imagine yeah, there was yeah. an opponent that was attacking me, and I blocked them, and then I returned a punch. Then I turned around as if there was another opponent. So we can imagine that either one po opponent is working very quickly, or we, we can imagine two or more opponents are attacking us simultaneously. Uh, well, it's an interesting kata. Uh, it took me a while till I learned it. I had to be here for three years before I learned it. I had to be going for my black belt, show up for first degree black belt before I was eligible to learn. So it's, it's not a kind of that's just handed right out to anybody. Um, I like the kata. It has a lot of good moves in it. It's a very powerful kata. Uh, you generate a lot of power with it. Uh, I was attracted to this style mostly through my teacher, through sensei first. Uh, and if anyone ever wants to take karate, whether it's here in uh, Long Island, right here at East Northport, or Budokan Kaido, or anywhere else, California, for anywhere, <laughs> for argument's sake, you have to look at the teacher first. And that's what attracted to me this place. And then I came to learn Okinawa Karate Do. I did not go look and searching for Okinawa Karate Do. Uh, I came to school, I met Sensei, and uh, I liked his teaching methods. An, an essential uh, part of uh, karate training is makuara practice. Uh, it's not recommended for everybody. It's not necessary everybody d does this. Children shouldn't hit the makuara. Uh, students shouldn't hit it savagely. Should approach the makuara first, bow, and just lean on the makuara. Focus the uh, two, two knuckles 60, 40. And if you you'll see, it, it, it lines the wrist up, and it, it, this actually won't happen in case of uh, combat or a fight or something. It also builds up the uh, forearm and rotation of the hips, which is necessary when punching. Hip rotation. It gives it gives a uh, it aids and supports the action of, of the speed of the of the arm. Which then is also good for doing down blocking or kata where the hip is uh, 
employed. Uh, maybe 50, 100 uh, uh, easy taps for a person training three or four years. If you're training five to up, you can accelerate and punch a little harder. Uh, I've been punching Makawara all my uh, life in karate. My hands are, my knuckles are pretty big. I don't have arthritis. I, um, I'm not deformed. Uh, it, can, it can be too much at, at, at my age, particularly for the elbow joints, so I don't hit as much. But I think it's necessary to develop a good, strong punch to, to find, find the focus to when the speed and, and the clenching of fists come together. On the Makiwara, I exhibit a punch. It holds true also for a shuto, which is the side of the hand. Mr. Roma will um, try to uh, break through five, five boards. Uh, he's a pretty big man anyway, so uh, these boards are pretty tough. Shuto, edge, edge, edge of the hand. <laughs> 